hyperconverged is an amazing evolution in IT. It's creating a software-centric data center that combines computing, networking, and storage all together in, let's say, a purpose-built appliance. And then it builds it into a giant grid so that you don't have to worry about additional computing power and storage as you grow. It's fast, easy, and agile. Let's talk a little bit about the evolution of, you know, converged, what does it mean? How did we get to hyperconverged? Converged came first. Converged was a term that was architecture, so to speak. It came from Cisco, really, when they developed an integrated blade solution. And that was nice because everything sort of sung and danced together. And so they also took a second technology, which I'm gonna use the term web scaling, which was like a grid of just purpose-built computers with no storage. Google did this, people are familiar with that. Netflix uses that kind of technology. So then they started putting two and two together and they said, let's make a software-centric solution with just purpose-built servers, and that's what Hyperconverged is. The two benefits of Hyperconverged, there's, there's a lot, but the two big benefits, one, business agility. Number two is IT innovation. Let me explain. So what happens is a business now, they're beyond cost of ownership and so forth. They do that, yeah, that's a given. But what they wanna know is what's gonna help the business to become better and more profitable by IT being agile. Gartner's now calling this concept run IT. I need business agility. I can't put all these pieces together on a five month timeline. That's where this is really helping with management because it, again, it's software based. So you run virtualized software on a purpose built server and then you just keep plugging the grids in. And so it just scales up. You run out of computing power, so to speak, you add another grid. You run out of space, you add another grid. I'm simplifying a bit, but that's really the concept because they can buy the purpose built servers and pop them in, get up and running and go to town. I mean, and even taking it further, they could then eventually uh, go into a hybrid cloud from there because that now they've virtualized and get that project done. So run IT is direct involvement in the business. At the end of the day, you're cutting down that complexity and you're able to say, yeah, we can do that, give us a week, as opposed to we can do that, give us three months. The second uh, benefit is it simply helps IT to not be dealing with all the little things that give them death by a thousand cuts, like missing a cable or whatever, and they're able to actually have an easier rollout of the project so they can move on to the next thing and become more innovative and learn technology. So a customer comes to me and wants to build a VM farm, for example, and I gotta get the server, the processor, the storage, the network, and it's probably about a thousand parts. You gotta wait for pricing and, and you know, it's just a, it's, it's a process that slows things down more. And so to take that away will help the industry as a whole to actually do what we're supposed to do, which was to be in the business of technology helping business, not the business of technology paperwork. You know, a really, a really common use case is in user computing. And an example of that is I had a customer who had 45,000 desktop users. It was a call center. And they were trying to bring the call center into the data center because it's just very expensive to maintain all over the United States. They looked into hyperconverged, they developed what's called a pod concept, and they are able to do it 200 people at a time and grow as they, you know, as they built it out. Another important use case, and this is really what drives America is small business. They don't have a large IT staff, but they're, they're driving our economy too, right? And, and what's important to them is that they just need something simple. What they do is they buy hyperconverged. They only have one guy running IT and they're up and running in, in a couple of days and they, they're getting the best of both worlds, which is disaster recovery, storage and computing and networking combined. CEW can help with hyperconverged data centers because of our broad portfolio. We can explain it to you. We can compare it for you. We can walk you through it, save you some time, and hopefully that'll help you to get there quickly and run your business faster.